At this point in the recovery, we are moving at full speed on a number of key priorities. The sun descends on day three since the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed. Indoors on the Dundalk side, Governor Westmore and more than a dozen leaders talk about what's ahead. The governor says he's issuing four directives. First, focus on recovery of the bodies of the rest of the victims so their families can get closure. Second, clear the channel and reopen vessel traffic. Third, take care of those who have been affected like dock workers and businesses. Fourth, rebuild the bridge. We have a very long road ahead of us. We understand that and we're preparing. The Biden administration approved a state request for an initial $60 million. That will be a down payment toward initial costs. More money is expected to come later. The Army Corps of Engineers is moving the largest crane on the eastern seaboard to Baltimore to help. But before we can actually engage in lifting, we've got to complete the assessment process of the bridge and the pieces of the bridge are in the water so that we can figure out how to cut the bridge into the right size pieces so that we can actually lift them with the crane. And we are doing those assessments right now with underwater surveys, with engineering teams back in the Unified Command. Rear Admiral Shannon Gilreath emphasizing reopening the channel as fast and safely as possible. Meantime, the state DOT is focused on the traffic implications, working with the port on the job issues and business needs, and planning and designing the new bridge. Its secretary says since the collapse, about 15,000 more vehicles are traveling through the Fort McHenry Tunnel and 7,000 using the Harbor Tunnel. Obviously, we understand the enormous impact this is having on families, commuters, and, and the region uh, as a whole. We ask everyone to be patient as you can be, and we ask them to please travel slowly, give themselves some more time so we don't create other issues, particularly for the work that we're doing out there in our highway system. One thing is abundantly clear. We are only just seeing the very beginning of the long effort to return to something resembling normal. To the people of this state, I say we are going to get through this because we are Maryland tough and we are Baltimore strong.